Hello everyone and welcome to the Mank Podcast. My name is Joe and we are back with another brilliant episode with Steph. Hello. Left. Oh, where's Tim gone? Where's Tim? He's, he's, gone. he's enjoying a lovely holiday. <laughs> uh, and Fat Sam eats as he takes his place. Hello, Sam. Oh, oh we've been on the podcast before. First Hi, episode. Tim. First ep- the first yes. episode started with a bang with Sam yeah. uh, and you're here to uh, basically take over Tim's job. Yeah, and you have done because you've set up most of the camera equipment. I've done the lights. That's all we need Tim for. Have you smashed yeah. it? Yeah. Smashed it, yeah. I could have done it with my eyes closed, so... Hi Tim. <laughs> Hi Tim. Hi Tim. Uh, we've also got another special guest, uh, food related as well. It's just going to be one big food episode, basically. Uh, Andy James from Eight Days a Week. Hello. 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 Uh, Andy, thank you very much for coming down. Very welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, eight Days a Week. Just we we're going to get into it and we'll get stuck into sandwich chat. But can you just describe what it is to listeners who may not have ventured into to stop what to see it yet? Yeah. So we're a gourmet sandwich shop, handmade pies, fish and chips. Craft beer, we've had our own gin made, cocktails, oh, wow. everything, yeah. Oh. Uh, who says chippies are old school? No, no. definitely not. Chippy. Uh, yeah. Can't be a chippy, chippy dinner. dinner. Oh, chippy, chippy tea. tea on a Friday. Chippy tea. Chippy tea yeah, mate. Friday. Fish, Fish, chips, yeah. peas and yeah. uh, buttered balm. <sighs> Sounds sexy, that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just basically <laughs> saying, if you're hungry in this episode, you're going to need some snacks, or we're going to sort of inspire you to go and make the best sandwiches possible. Um, we, f- we start off on the Mac podcast by talking about some big Manchester stories. Tim's not here this week, so me and Steph are just going to throw a couple your way. OK. Um, Steph, would you want to go first? Yeah, so mine's about a new canal-side terrace bar in town. It's near Piccadilly Station, so if you ever get a train in, you oh, yeah. go straight to the bar. It's called Roby 1844. Beautiful establishment. It's got, like, you know, like, fake grass and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Nice, oh, nice bar, yeah, and you can see all the canal boats coming past. And um, I had the privilege of filming there the other day mm-hmm. um, for the Mank, of course. Got to try all the burgers and all the food there. Any so Prosecco? Delicious. Add some Prosecco, some prosecco. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Roby1844. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the episode where you, not the episode, sorry, the video where you poured the bit of gravy on it? That's right. Yes, right, it looks really good. Oh, a little bit of a drizzle. Explain that a bit yes. more. What happened? It was like these um, chicken wings and they came with a little pop sauce. I think it was barbecue ooh, sauce. Ooh, and ooh. I was like, Abby, who I work with, who does all the hand modelling. Um, I was like, drizzle some of that sauce. And then she was like, she was like very gracefully. And it just, yeah, the video did really well on the page. I'd so. love to hear you direct. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> this is what I do. I just go, go ahead, love. Yeah, <laughs> love, nice one. Film. Now, I know I often ask you a question, you don't know the answer, but why is it, what's, what happened in 18, what, what year was it? 1844. What happened? Did anything happen in I'm 1844? Not sure. I'm not sure. Any, anyone, anyone know anything? No, 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 it's no. not the time, is it? Yeah. Being near the station or anything. <laughs> oh, it could mm. be the time. Yeah. Steph, you need to go back. I need to do a bit more research. Next week's yeah. podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, just speaking of uh, bars and stuff, we've been out and about. We've been exploring the, the area, Sam. I know you I have. have you today. Instead. What happened I've today? Been, I've been to Hatch. Love it. Yes. yes. It was unreal. It was just so nice seeing people um, drinking, having a laugh. Yeah. And the food was phenomenal. Tried your stuff for the first time because yeah. you've got a stall in Hatches. Yeah, that's right, mate. Yeah. Um, so I had like the 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 red wine slow. No, it was the ale, the beef ale yeah. sandwich with with onions in it and mm. a pot of gravy. Oh, oh, oh. It was beautiful. Just talk about the gravy, oh. isn't it? It's all about that dip as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, spot on. Our granddad sausages. I had Parmageddon. Uh, and I had a few beers. It's been oh, great. It's been a great Where'd day. Where'd you put it all, Sam? I hey. you, where'd you put it all? I needed to. I thought I was going to have to have a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was have to have a lie down. But no, it's been great. All yeah. sitting in there. Uh, I, I want to move on to my Mac story of the week and something uh, football related. We don't often chat football on the show because I don't think, yeah, it's just one I of those. I don't think me and Tim are really, yeah. Uh, we're going to chat because uh, two Manchester clubs were involved in this short lived. Uh, Big European Super League that started to make headlines on Sunday before United were playing. Sort of took over a couple of days, but it's done, it's finished. It's not going it's anywhere. It's gone. Locked. Flash in the pan. Uh, it was, <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's still going to be some big protests. I know from the United side, at least, a lot of fans uh, raiding the training ground today. Yeah. Really? Uh, stopping oh. players from training, uh, forcing the manager to come over and chat to them. Uh, it's it's oh it's really started a rumble in uh, sort of the Manchester clubs. I think City are fine. City fans are fine. Their owners done some good stuff. <laughs> the United the United fans are definitely, especially I know some of my my mates as well. They are not happy about it. But as you know, I, I know you're a county fan, Andy. When you heard yeah. the news of this, like the greed, just trying to take over football. I just thought yeah. it was just absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Really, yeah. when you think about it, like with how much money's already in football, for them to then try and take even more mm. and keep it to themselves, it's just. Pointless. What's the point of playing a sport if you can't lose, really? Yeah, hundred percent. Sam, do you have a Are you into? I'm not into football uh, at all. No interest. Load of greedy <laughs> people tried to make more money. Yeah, well, and that was that's it. what it's always been yeah. about, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, let's move away from. Well, uh, this subject is about 
greed and money, I think, or maybe about one person suing the other. It's the big M&S versus Aldi uh, debate. Ooh. Well, not a debate. It's more of a uh, M&S not happy with Aldi's uh, Caterpillar. Now, I always get them mixed up, what they're called. Collins M&S. Collins M&S. Yeah, what's Aldi's? Is it Cuthbert? Cuthbert. Cuthbert's, right. Do, do other um, yeah. supermarkets, they've got them, haven't they? Yeah. 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 There's Wiggles from Sainsbury's, I think. Right. right. There's another yeah, and then one there's Clyde the from Morrison's or something. Clyde, like that. Yeah. Morrison's. Yeah. The only one, it's like Sainsbury's is the only one that doesn't begin with a C. Right, OK. Yeah. Why, yeah. Do we know why they've gone for Aldi in a way? Like, why have they gone for Because they're selling more than them. It? Yeah, right. I think yeah, it's cheaper, isn't it? I think there's been a bit of conspiracy behind I think they're working together. Oh! oh. oh. Solid oh. promo. Yeah, let's do a bit of PR and they've come to the each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's let's drum all this up like we're at each other's throats. Yeah. And then we'll get all this money because people yeah. will be buying them now. Let's go yeah, get yeah. these caterpillars. We had one in the office. We had Wiggles. <laughs> it's all right. Have you, <laughs> have you tried them all? Did you try them I've all? I've had Colin. Them? Colin's good, I'm not going to lie. I bet Colin is good. It's M&S, isn't Colin's it? the original, though, isn't it? So M&S yeah. have the original, yeah. do they? Right, yeah. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's like Colin the caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah. It's classic cake, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's like being yeah. six years old again, isn't it? Going to somebody's birthday party. Yeah. There's yeah. always it's a Colin the caterpillar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You could see through it, it was that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on the uh, the saga that it continues on the Mank website. It's been a busy week for the Mank website. Lots going on. Um, <laughs> so make sure you, uh, you head over there uh, and you can look, do a little subscribe thing that I've done on my Google Chrome. I look at you because you work for the Mank. I don't work on the website. <laughs> on the website. <laughs> Every time a new story comes up, it pops up like a notification. I just do the videos. She just does the videos and tells people to pour gravy. <laughs> yeah. Dead good. Yeah. Dead good. Go, go set that out. Uh, Andy. Yes. Let's chat about eight days a week. Let's chat about yourself. Uh, where did the idea come from to make this unbelievable gourmet sandwich shop? So I had the name from an event I did a few years ago at a restaurant I worked in in the Northern Quarter. So we, like, we took the stories from like, what musicians were saying about food and then we turned it into dishes. So we had like Noel Gallagher's, uh, we did a pot noodle, our twist on a pot noodle. So it's, the opening line to Stand By Me is made a meal and threw it up on Sunday. And that was inspired by the fact that he made himself a roast dinner one week and gave himself food poisoning. Oh. So he said to his mum, I'm going to stick to pot noodles from now on. Yeah. That's where it all started there. And then okay. when we went into lockdown last year, I was on furlough, bored. And I've always wanted to own my own restaurant. So I just started delivering from my flat to mates. But I brought the name eight days a week back, started putting the, like, the music, puns to it all, thinking of the name for something and then making the sandwich to it yeah. either way. Um, yeah, and then like, mates were telling their mates and it just started picking up. So it's like every Saturday we was doing like 50 deliveries. Wow. That's awesome. So I was like, so yeah. I just started looking for a site and then we found one in Stockport that had a chippy in it. So I was like, well, let's go with it. It's fate. And then, yeah. So then what we all. What were the early sandwiches? Um, so the bartender and the beef came a bit later, which is like probably our most popular one. But we had I Ham the Walrus, which is like. Like slow, like slow boiled gammon and then roasted with honey and everything, fried egg and then mm. piccalilli. So that, that was one of the early ones we had. We had like beef, which was a roast beef one with like salt and pepper, onions. All of this just like, it was just coming out of my, my apartment kitchen. And it was like, so, yeah. So when we got the site and we opened August bank holiday weekend, and like four weeks later, we was back in restrictions. Oh. So oh, when, we, when we opened, I thought, this is it. Like, it's all over and done with now. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bang, there we go. Yeah. So. Let's go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is, it is the important thing that we're trying to do on the bank is getting people like yourself, and you put so much into these, 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 these restaurants and, and the dishes, and obviously the restrictions have been in place, can't do anything about that, but now things are lifting. Yep. Get you on and we can talk about it, because I bet yeah. some of the names and sandwiches just already did something to you a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the music theme to, to the sandwiches, is that yeah. just something, obviously you mentioned the No Gallagher stuff, but are you going to continue that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole like, the whole brand, if you want to call it that, is um, it's just based on my personality, really. It's like it's good food with good ingredients, like made accessible for everyone, really. Yeah. But like, music's like the main thing, like, but obviously apart from my missus, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's one of the big things in my life. I love going to gigs, you know. So like keeping the music theme in there and it makes it interesting for other people. Like, cause yeah. you can, anyone can open a butty shop, can't they? It's mm. like if you've got something different and it keeps people like, entertained. Like, you see people's faces light up when they come and read the menu and they're like, and it twigs what the name 
like yeah, yeah. Well, the yeah. song is that it goes with. That's what I like what you say. You know, you can do, you, anyone can just make a sandwich. Yeah. Right? Unless you put, it's very rare that you get a, a, a place that does amazing sandwiches. Yeah. And like I had yours today, it was fantastic. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. It's very rare you get a decent yeah, yeah. sandwich, man. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, have you ever made a sandwich that was quite hard to think of a music name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you're yeah. like, oh, I've got a really good sandwich. Here. Yeah, so like, we was doing, like, but we was doing cookie specials as well. So we do like New York style cookies. And we had one. Um, I wanted to do like an Oreo cheesecake filling for it, and mm -hmm. like that was the hardest thing to think of a name was. Uh, so we just ended up calling it Oreo Speedwagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it took ages to get to that though. I, love it. So I kept putting it off week after week. So like, we're not doing Oreo this week. I've not got a name. If yeah. you ever need a name, I think the man will help out. So say you send us what you've got, yeah. right, and we can ask the listeners to come up with the best name. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, want, I want to ask. I want to ask both of you basically about you're known for uh, the, the banging sandwiches and, and what makes a great sandwich. Yeah. But I want to ask because I know Simon, like you like to cook up some absolute yeah, treats yeah. on yeah. your Instagram. So I've got some. I've got some dishes here. You got to let, let, let us know what what it takes to make a banging one of these. A yeah. butty. But it's just got. It's all about the bread, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Like if, if the bread's not. Right. What is it? You tell me. What's that? What's it's all about the bread? The bun, bun maker. Yeah, bun maker. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the same with the sandwich. Yeah. It's got to be decent bread. Yeah. That's doesn't it? Yeah. If because like, at the end of the day, that that's where the sandwich starts, isn't it? You know, the first thing you see is the bread. Yeah. If the bread's not good enough, then. Like, so what kind of bread are we using? What kind of bread do you use? So I, I use like I use fresh baked focaccia. I use like brioche sub rolls. We do naan breads. We do like thick sliced bloomer bread. Yeah. And it's all baked like 30 seconds away from the shopping stop. Put. It really? all depends oh, on the yeah. sandwich as well. It's the filling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can, yeah. Every yeah. piece of bread will be different for each sandwich. It's yeah. yeah, like our bar tun and beef that you had today. Yeah, yeah. It's like if we was to put that on sliced bread, it just wouldn't work. It would just be no. too messy. Yeah. So it would too, yeah, too soggy as well, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. So it just needs to have the substance to it. Yeah. Right. So then the bread, that's what makes it but good. Straight away, yeah. yeah. Inside, what we're saying, what's the, what's the, what are we saying about inside? Do you have a particular go-to sandwich, Sam? I do, yeah. yeah. BLT with cheese yeah. and mayonnaise. Oh. It's got to be grated cheddar. Right. It's got to be grated cheddar with yeah, mayonnaise, decent mayonnaise. Yeah. Are you melting the cheddar? No. No. No, don't melt it. There's a difference. So you melt it and, and don't melt it. There's a difference with taste. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grated cheddar on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Tom, that. That's yeah. the go-to. Yeah. I like any sandwich. I really yeah. do. I go for anything. What are yours, Andy? You go to chicken and bacon all day, every day. Oh. Just literally no salad, none of that crap. Just literally <laughs> chicken, bacon, bread, and loads of sauce. Yeah, hot nice. sauce especially. Nice. That's Steph, do you have one? I really like steak and cheese sandwiches, me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a Philly, like a Philly yeah, or Yeah, like a Philly yeah. cheese steak, yeah. you know. Manchester filled uh, cheese steak. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Philly cheese steak. I like it. Uh, what would I go for? I like. So, I like. A sandwich with stuffing on it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, especially when it brings back to like Christmas time, if there's a bit of stuffing on it, anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bread, you're laughing, aren't you? Have you ever been to York on a night out? No. I've been to York, yeah, a couple <laughs> of times. Yeah, well, it's yeah. like, you know, if you're gone and like you're finished on a night out and you go and get a kebab like in Manchester or something like that, over there they've got like hog roast places. No you way. go there and it's, yeah, they're open till late, they've got hog roast so you can get your, your ham on it, your, your stuffing, oh. your apple sauce, and you can walk home with a <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wake up and it's next to you in bed. And you're like, oh, yes, I'll have that tomorrow. That sounds amazing. Yeah. That sounds glass yeah. night out in York for the Bank Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so pies, because you do some pies as well. Yeah, yeah. So we make the pies by hand every single morning. Oof, wow, that's awesome. awesome. Got a lot on, haven't you, in the morning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot Is it on? Poor <laughs> chef. <laughs> so what, what's your, what's your favourite pie, or what, or what makes it? Uh, again, it's all, it's the pastry's got to be one. It's got to be like you know you need a short crust base so that it holds all the filling, so you can get the extra gravy in there. Mm. If it's not got a puff lid, like, I'm not even interested. So do all your pies use the same pastry? Yeah, so we use a short crust base and a puff pastry lid. Nice. Mm. So then you get like you get the contrasting texture, so you get the crisp like once you break into it, mm. and then yeah, then you get all the gravy inside. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. there's nothing worse than when you say to someone, oh, we do pies, they think of Holland's, don't they? And it's crap. Yeah. There's no meat in it. And the gravy's grey for some reason. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's weird. Go to pie filling? Oh, steak all day. Oh, yeah, steak, I agree. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep going around this. Yeah. Get your answers ready. I, I like chicken uh, chicken and bacon. Yeah. Like, like, like and cream sauce. In it. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Ooh. A bit of mushroom yeah. in there. I like that. Yeah, it's mm. nice. Steph? Steak. Steak. You yeah. just love steak, you. I love steak. You just love steak. See what I do, if you ever need this, a good cheese and onion. We do a cheese no. and onion. Do you? Right. Yeah, so we do it with like a cheddar bechamel, um, mm. brie, and oh. caramelised red onions. 
So it's, like, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a fancy one. We better mind that one. Yeah. <laughs> mind, but, you know, I'm going to move on. Uh, right, uh, and great chippy. Yeah. So, so do you do... Is chippy part of the menu or do you just yeah. incorporate it in your sandwiches? No, no. So it, there's, a, there's a chippy menu, there's a pie menu, there's a sandwich menu. So, like, so with the fish, we get fresh fish. We don't get frozen fish. And we do like a beer batter. Ooh. So instead of like, mm. when you go to a chippy, it's like that grey batter. And it's like, you can just tell that somebody's made it with like, tap water or whatever. Yeah. Like we use beer butter, so it's got a really golden, fluffy texture yeah. to it. Awesome. Uh, and we triple cook the chips. Ooh. It's like sort of super, super fluffy, but super crispy as well. Nice. Cooked so triple like, cooked yeah. chips, is that cooking it the exact same as you just frying it three times? No, no, so no, we boil it in salt and vinegar water, so it gets the flavour inside as well. So you're not just like when you get past that top layer of chips from a chippy. Yeah. There's no no seasoning there. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I always say. I hate it. You're right. Yeah. 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 Put more on. Yeah. Yeah. So I hate that. So we wanted to get the flavour inside the potato as well. Oh, gonna, I'm going to use that. I'm going to try yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Boil it. Honestly, yeah. salt and vinegar. Just equal amounts of salt and vinegar. What vinegar do you use? Like white just wine. Malt vinegar. Just malt vinegar. Yeah, just malt vinegar. Right. Okay. Malt uh, vinegar. Cool it. Blanch it out 120 degrees. Yeah. Cool it again, and then it just gets fried to order. Yeah. yeah. Nice, that. Oh. When we talk about that chippy, do you know what I, I ate? Do you know when you get nachos and someone has all the cheese ones? And you basically just like oh, the, the top layer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you should do it in layers, though. When you do yeah. your nacho, do a, a thin layer of, of the, the um, tortilla chip, then cheese, and then another layer. Yeah. So when you get down, there's it's more cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I, I was saw that. I don't, you know, whatever you think about the, uh, the establishment, the walkabout, I, I was once levered in there, and they brought this, like, massive tin. Right to this table, and and what they've done is they've done your way of doing it. So, but they've done it in a tin, yeah. Okay. And then they reveal it. Oh, it you pull it off. Yeah, oh, so yeah. yeah. Oh, like wow. the trash can ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you know, you, you say what you want, but you know, they pull out some good nachos that day. <laughs> um, yeah, great chippy. Any other chippy um, tips, Sam? Um, it's got to be crispy, it's got to be fluffy. Yeah. I hate it when you get uh, chips. Soggy and chips. Or you can get them a bit too hard in the middle. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but for me, if I'm having a chippy tea, it's chips, pudding, gravy. Yeah. And I'll either get pudding or like... Did it say pudding then? Chips, pudding, gravy? Yeah, yeah it, it said pudding. Yeah. Yeah. Peas, I meant peas. I'll have to get yeah. a pot of peas with it and I'll put some yeah. peas with it. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Last time, I think sausage well. on the side as well. Yeah. Yeah. Always got to get the extra sausage. Yeah. 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 I saw the journey you. home. You do my slow-mo sausage. I saw you do the dunk off between gravy and... Yeah, uh, it's a curry. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Wow. Which one won? Um, I think it was the the curry. There was a, a lot a lot more juices and wobble on that. So yeah, I think that won. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever made a chip chippy butty or anything like that? Yeah, so we did pie bombs and everything. Okay. Yes, but you like, yeah, like a chip butty with like peas on it or something yeah. like that, and a pie on it or something <laughs> like that. I know you yeah, should so we do pie bombs. Like that. Idea, yeah. Palm, pie, peas, and gravy, and we do like do a fish one, so it's fish, peas. Oh, curry nice. sauce on a bomb as well. That sounds absolutely Or muffin, depends amazing. on where you're from. I'm starving yeah. now. Guess what Steph gets from the chippy? A good steak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for <laughs> breakfast? A steak. It's your favourite cereal, Steph. Steak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll move away from food just slightly and we'll talk about... Uh, cause, uh, we've, lo we've locked down happening with restrictions. Uh, you got involved in, in an initiative in, uh, in back in January. We've always stopped put businesses yeah. to, to help feed the community. And that was just something... Because your hands were tied a bit with, with opening the shop. You couldn't do yeah. it. And you wanted to give back a bit. What 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 was that? Yeah, so like, so when it was announced for the second time that the government weren't going to be giving out like the school meals for kids when they was off school, it was like I was just sat there and I was like, well, we've already been through this once, and you went back on it. But it was just like seeing the people around Stockport. Like you don't like, obviously it's not a well-off area by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see the people walking around and they don't know when they're next going to be able to feed the kids. Mm. So like, we was lucky enough to still trade part time. So that we, that, but then we partnered with the guys at Cherry Jam, and they said that they wanted to get in. So we was just, we just spent a certain amount of money every week, made over a thousand meals over the period of time we wow. was doing it. Incredible. We was just giving it out to schools, community centres, and everything. Just That's every so Wednesday. Wow. That's amazing, mate. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Good on you. Uh, Thank you. Well done, mate. That's <laughs> that is yeah. class. Um, we are going to. Uh, in can still people get in? I know it's coming. We're coming out that now, but. Yeah. Just follow you on your socials if anything like that ever happens again. I'm sure yeah, yeah, definitely. Stuff, stuff on there like that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on now to a pretty hectic uh, competition. Tim normally brings it in, but do you want to do the honours and say what we're about to 
what we're about to do. Is, is this it? Is this yeah, it? This is, this is, is the competition that I win? Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, I have to say, do I have to say anything? You didn't say the competition I win. Yeah, he's getting <laughs> bold. <laughs> All right, then. Do I bring it in? Yeah. Yeah. Do I yeah. say anything? Yeah, you go. It's time for... Okay. Shout it. Okay, I'll do It's time for Snack of the Week. All right. I'm not going to go first, though. I'm okay. the best to last. Uh, it's Andy's choice. Andy, who would yeah. like to go first to snack of the week? Oh, I'll go with Steph. I'll I hope it's a wrong. steak. Yeah, he's going to go. Wrap out everybody. T bone. Bloody T bone. Raw. So, you know, you make pies. And when I thought of pies, yeah. I thought of the pub, right? And I thought, maybe you don't want a whole meal. Maybe you just want a snack. And I thought of. That's why it's called snack of the week. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Pork scratching. Oh, oh that's wow. okay. You, yeah. you might not be pork scratching the porky puffs. Porky puffs. <laughs> From the, yeah. the snaffling pig. Tesco's 50p there and offer. I've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? um, yeah, I think the pork scratching, but just a bit puffier. Um, yeah. Season with into. barbecue. Slow barbecue. Ooh, wow. Very yeah. nice. big fan of very pork nice. scratching. Yeah. Yeah. I love pork scratching. I, I love it. Have you ever stuck a pork scratching on a sandwich? No. Be too much, that'd be yeah, too crunchy, yeah. wouldn't it? We do chicken skin, yeah. but that's about as far as chicken you can. Chicken skin? Yeah. I'd try that. That's far as you can take it, really. There was a, bit, there was a place in uh, London, uh, what are they called now? I can't think what they're called. Um, might be one ton burger. But they did um, a massive burger, had black pudding on it, um, like honey mustard and pork scratchings on it. Oh. But I think because they were in all the juices, it kind yeah. of softened, softened up a little bit. Yeah, but that looked terrible. Oh, yeah. I never tried it. I've always wanted to try it, but it looks amazing. Like with burgers, when you put like crisps on the top and it kind of yeah. just soaks up all yeah. the sauces. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Mm. Love Travels. a good frazzle in there. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, do it, I do it at home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So good. We're taking the limelight off, off you, Joe. Aren't no, we? that's right. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting yeah. waiting. Just back. His... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I mean, it, it is. It's good. I've got a chocolate bar for you. Yeah. Um, and do you know what? I just don't think it's at its time on this show yet. Everyone's brought in like weird niche ones, including myself. I brought in a white line chocolate bar once. I got nice. demolished. <laughs> um, I brought in the humble Snickers. Okay. Right, fan. it's a great oh, yeah. bar. My uh, Mars been guy, Miss. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a Mars bar, sorry. What do you mean? I thought it was a Mars bar. Mar I, it was a toss up between them two. Yeah. This one just does it for me because the nuts. Yeah. Some mm. great adverts. Yeah, yeah. It used to be called the Marathon. That's right. Yeah. Snickers, everybody. Before my time. No, that was yeah. I like them if, if they're a little bit warm. What? Ooh. Yeah, when they're a little bit warm. I don't like cold chocolate. Do you have them oh, you can't put chocolate in the fridge. No, I'm psycho. Big, you behavior. Put chocolate. I love it. Yeah, in the fridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just put it on your tongue for a bit. It lasts no. a bit longer. No. You, heat, you, <laughs> heat, you heat up yourself in a way. Right. Nature's, nature's microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> microwave. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, uh, here we go. Are you ready? Here we have a contract okay. for Russell Hobbs now. <laughs> I again have brought chocolate. Oh. Now. There's gonna be when I, when I pull this out, you're not gonna be impressed, okay? Okay. It's just minstrels. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. They are really nice chocolate. Yeah, yeah, right, okay, yeah. but I'm gonna set the scene. Okay. So you've had your tea, right? The oven's been on. <laughs> right. You switch the oven off. You go and have your tea, but the oven's still warm. Nice. Okay. So you get the minstrels and you stick them in a bowl. And you put them in the oven, oh, right? There, yeah. Now what happens is because the shell has a higher melting point than the chocolate, <laughs> the chocolate melts inside the shell. Oh, oh, you have to keep an eye oh. on them. But when you put, <laughs> don't go in there, just <laughs> <laughs> bang it in there, <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> So what happens is that the chocolate inside the shell is melted. So when you put it in, you chew, you get uh, just like a melt of chocolate all in your mouth. It's Amazing. So that's a little tip with that. Somebody pop the oven on round. Yeah, oh, oh you should try it, honestly. I like it. <laughs> it's, hey, it's like a little dessert afterwards. Just stick them in a bowl when you're watching yeah. a movie and then. No, I've had that before. I've had that. Have you? Warm, warm. Not, not like really melted, but. Oh, the melt just like proper bit. melted. It's like warm. Just, oh. You've won me there. Not Time, right. Mandy, to do the, the big. I mean, with the story like that, you can't not oh, go with the oh, most. Oh, oh, can you? I told you what I was going to say. Time did be the winner. Yeah. I'll give you that money afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got an, a, another little game for us to play. I've done some uh, research on, on the web and uh, on the web. Who am I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm research right. on it's the okay. World Wide Web. And I found some of the, the weirdest sandwich fillings possible. Oh, God. Uh, that I've actually been made and, and eaten across the world and like weird pictures of them on Instagram. We will, I'm going to say it to you and we're going to go around. We're going to debate it. Would you try it? Would you not? God. Right. The first one is stummy a bit. Um, <laughs> Banana and mayonnaise. Oh. It's a banana and mayonnaise sandwich. It was made by someone in America, of course it was. It was, <laughs> um, uh, and they've tagged it. The, the picture looks bizarre. 
nice uh, brown bread, bananas, quite a lot of bananas, with a bit of drizzling and mayo. Guys, you know. what are you saying? You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. I've had banana sandwiches before. Yeah. But without the mayo. Right. <laughs> it's like um, banana bread, basically, isn't it? A bit of peanut butter, that would that'd be yeah. all right. Exactly. Or, or sport, or a bit of Nutella. Or yeah. yeah. That would be mayonnaise. nice. But mayonnaise, no. No, it's no. not. It's like, I would try it. I don't think it would work, but you've got to try these things. Like, yeah, it could be like, oh my God, it works. Yeah. But yeah, it I wouldn't. It takes one idiot, doesn't it, to create yeah, a whole exactly. new movement. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> would you go for it then? Everyone's saying no. 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 Yeah, I'd yeah, say no I'm as well. That, yeah. um, you, someone mentioned chocolate spread, but uh, there was a place in, uh, uh, I think it was France, doing a chocolate spread and cheese sandwich. Let me try and get the... the it oh, it was a cheese? cheddar. No, it was a cheddar oh. cheese. <laughs> would we devour that? I'd, I'd give it a go. I'd try I'd it. try it, yeah. I'd give it a go. Well, we did dismiss it about banana, ba uh, banana and mayonnaise, weren't we? <laughs> Now we're all in for this. Yeah, it's just the texture yeah. of the yeah, banana and the saltiness and like creaminess of like the mayo. I just don't. It just mush on mush. Yeah, yeah mush it's on mush. Okay, mush on mush. this is a bit different though. Would you want grated cheese or just like a nice slab of it? Have to be a nice block. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A slice. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just a full, <laughs> full block of cathedral like city. <laughs> so we're all giving that one a go, are we? Yeah, try, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. next one: peanut butter and pickle sandwich. No. No. Combination like that shouldn't butter. work, but apparently is. Not They're using. Yeah. Smooth peanut butter with a crunch of pickle. Uh, the combination is surprisingly tasty, says this website. I feel like someone who's like recently been pregnant and had weird cravings. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the other one she did was just coal. Yeah. <laughs> coal sandwich. I, I used to have, when I was younger, I used to have really weird combination, ham and peanut butter on a sandwich. Really? It, it really works, yeah. What was it? What was it did, yeah, would you, would you try it again? Was that time you tried that? It was a long time ago, but I would still have it again. I think it, I, I still remember the taste and I know it works. Yeah. yeah. What are we saying about this one then? Pickle and peanut butter? No. Not for me. No. no. You're saying no. Okay. Um, now, this one is just um, a debate rather than um, the actual weird sandwich because I've seen this done a lot. But what do we all make of the donut being the bread of uh, a sandwich slash burger? What's our opinions on that? This is down the weird combination mm. of sandwiches. Are we a fan of it? So explain if you've had it many times, Sam. Mm -hmm. Explain to the listener what it, what is it? What if you have like a burger? Donut, so you, you've got your burger, but your, the donut is obviously the bun. But because um, the the sweet works really well with like the beef and stuff like that, and it just work. It just really works really 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 well on a burger. It just does it. I can't See, I've it. never I've never read it. It does go know. well. Yeah, yeah. one of my it's favorite just burgers. Like having a brioche bun. Like, yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, brioche is, is yeah. sweet anyway. Is it two full donuts or just a half? half? No, I've had it before with two full donuts on oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> one not far from you, Bun and Bones used to do one. Bun and Bones yeah, club. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, yeah. That's, yeah, that was yeah. one of my top. So what we're saying, we're going for it. Yeah, yeah. Big time. I've never tried it. Yeah. Would you go for it though? I'll try it, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll give that a go. Yeah. Uh, and final one, Tesco's did uh, for the Wimbledon, uh, all part of their meal deal. So, you know, you get the crisp, yeah. the drink. You could also get a uh, strawberry and clotted cream sandwich. Clotted Cl cream, Cl cream sandwich. <laughs> actual strawberries in there. I mean, it sounds nice on like a scone yeah. or something, but would well, you have it between white cheap bread? white bread that they use no. in the Tesco meal deal? Yeah. No, no, no there'll be none of it. No. I'd okay. try it. Yeah, I'd try actually it. try it. I think yeah. it's not something that I'd go, oh yeah, I'll buy that. But if someone said, do try that, I'd try it. Yeah. yeah. Are you going for no? No. 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 Straight no. Yeah. <laughs> Straight no. <laughs> you do, do you do eight days a week sweet sandwiches? Yeah, so we do one in Hatch. It's uh, peanut butter, strawberry jam and marshmallows and uh, toasted brioche. Oh. We toast it, put it in butter, do it on the griddle and it just melts right through. Yeah, I didn't see that today. Did you know? Oh, well, I'm not yeah. very happy about that. Should we after that, mate? Yeah. <laughs> You've been all over it. Uh, looking at eight days a week and now where there's like restrictions uh, and even more coming in the mid mid May. What is it going to be like for you moving forward? What's happened since April twelfth, and then what's it going to be like uh, since May? So since April, we've opened with outside seating. We've had draft beer put in. So and I'll, yeah, we're doing like single spirit and mixes or doubles if you fancy. Yeah, we'll have a double yeah. one. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then um, yeah, and then when we come into May, we reopen inside. We'll keep the outside seating, and we open with a new bar upstairs called Notion. So it's going to be like a deep south field dive bar. So it's going to be like crazy mad cocktails. You know, awesome. Pe nice. People dancing on chairs and tables. Yeah. Obviously when they're allowed. You know, yeah. uh, <laughs> masks are necessary for yeah. dancing on the chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, say two metres apart though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're just coming out with like just all guns blazing really. Like yeah. ready to yeah. shake Stockport up. 
Fair play, I'm excited for you, man. Yeah. And, and yeah. the hatch just keep going with... with, with yeah, we're just going to keep using hatch as like the trial basis for anything, like any mad ideas that I have, because like, I keep turning to my missus, I'm like, Sarah, I'm like, what about this? She's like, shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the maddest sandwich you've made? Oh, God. <laughs> we don't talk about that, do we, the yeah. failures? I'll come to you, but you've had a, have you had a couple uh, of failures? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, um, well. What was the biggest failure? Oh. <laughs> The rest of my life, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, you know, I think we've been, I've been quite fortunate with some of the ideas because I've not played it safe, but I've not like gone total madcap just yet. Yeah. But there's plenty of time yet. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sam, have you really had any cooking failures? Oh, yeah, I've had failures, but I think, especially with barbecue as well, and there's a saying, isn't there? You don't make good barbecue without making bad barbecue. Yeah, you have right. to fail sometimes to get better, but. My biggest creation I did was like a spaghetti bolognese burger, and and I did like um <laughs> like a, you no know, spaghetti meatball burger. So it was um the actual party was like a meatball with cheese yeah. in the middle. It had mozzarella in the middle. I remember like seeing that? Actually. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and the, the buns were made yeah. of spaghetti. So I sure. made spaghetti. So what, what do you oh, mean? I the buns are made, made of spaghetti. Made spaghetti, and then put the sauce in with it, and then put them into a patty former, yeah. and then froze them, and ah. then took them out and put it in like breadcrumbs and deep fried it. And then, so when you cut it in half, it was spaghetti, and then the, yeah, it had very all creative. sauce on it and everything that like that. Very yeah. creative. Very yeah. creative. Yeah. Wild. That was nice. nice. Was How drunk was when you came up with that idea? <laughs> 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 I wish it was. Yeah. <laughs> I could like, have an excuse for it, then. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any more of those? Any more of those crazy? Oh God. I did the uh, roast dinner one with a big. Um, I it was like a pigs in blanket patty. And it had a Yorkshire pudding on top of it and poured all gravy on it. That sounds amazing. Yeah, that was that was really nice that. Yeah. That sounds well. With yeah, a giant yeah. pig in blanket hot dog over Christmas. Mm. That was that, that yeah. one was loving that like that. Like some sage, crispy onions and everything. That sounds nice. Oh, that sounds then nice. Then did you have a stuffing on it? No. No. Sadly not. No. no. Oh. Get on, get on. <laughs> Missed a yeah. trick there, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure, make yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Build it. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, the Manchester food and drink scene, uh, as well as your own place, yep. where do you like to, to go out and about and, and enjoy nice food, some drinks? I, when I go out to eat, I like, just try and go try and go to different places as much as possible. But yeah. you've got to, like, I mean, woods are go to for me and my missus when we go for like date yeah. night and everything, just because it's good food. Amazing, um, yeah. You know, and the chop houses are great. But then there's so many good independents, like you know, especially like now, there's so many different places popping up. You know, so you've got like you've got like Lazy Tony's lasagna popping up in Ancoats and everything. And like I, I'm going there this weekend and I can't wait for that. Yeah. And, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I've seen the chocolate last week. Yeah. So there's just so many different places coming up, and that's the good thing that's coming out of this now. It's like everyone's had all that time to like focus, where yeah, yeah. being creative and just get it out there. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, Some of you, have you got any new places that you'd like to shout about? Went to Bar San Juan, did a, a scram review. Yes. Yeah, last, last week, and uh, that with the food was there was fantastic. But uh, like you say, bar wise, it's nice just to try different places yeah. all the time. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was nice because obviously we've all been in lockdown for so long. We haven't been anywhere yeah. to drink. But today when I went to Hatch, it was just so nice seeing just people there with their friends and just having drinks and just mm -hmm. being happy. It was nice to see. That is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I hope it just carries on. Yeah, yeah it carries on that yeah. way. Uh, so you the weather helps as well. The weather oh, yeah. does yeah. help. Even today, the weather today. Yeah. Yeah. We're obviously, we have Perfect a day for wearing a beanie, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we never do a weather section on the show. Should we do a weather section? Should we do one? Bum, right, bum, bum. let me just say it. It's looking all right. Monday's a bit spooky. Right. Oh. Cloudy, Does it say that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're having all right weather till Thursday. So whenever this comes out, Thursday the... Oh, what day would uh, when would that uh, be? Maybe 29th, is it? No, it, yeah, it's the 29th, yeah. Yeah, yeah that Thursday, apparently bring your brollies out, but we've got all right weather until then. Well, right. Okay. okay. Everyone hit the beer yeah. garden this oh, weekend. Okay. Yeah, made Eight days a week outdoor. There you go. There, you go. there we go. <laughs> awesome. Definitely. Love the hat. Yeah. <laughs> little plug there at the end. <laughs> little plug. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so if you're going to do, uh, do that, go to eight days a week, make sure you take pictures, tag the bank in it, and let us know you've been there because of the podcast as well. And I think it's time we do the, the minstrel challenge, I think. <gasps> yeah. We all maybe take a moment out, get the minstrels out, do the challenge. Try it. How long are you leaving them in there for? You've got to keep an eye on them. Yeah. You can't put them in, you can't leave them for too long because there is that sweet point. Are you leaving the door open while stick no, no, you just, well? no, 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 just stick right, it in. Because okay. it'll, it'll take about two, three minutes, right. anything over. Yeah. And it obviously all depends on the temperature as well. If you've had it at 200 and some yeah. degrees and then stick it in straight away, <laughs> you're going to melt yeah. the bowl as well. Yeah. Um, but you've just got to keep an eye on it. Just pull it out every so often, just take one out and just try it and then... Taste test. Yeah, taste test, yeah.
Perfect. Yeah, yeah, make sure you get one of the ones that says more to share. Obviously, yeah. you don't share. Yeah. <laughs> yourself, but it you is more in there. bags as well. Yeah. Yeah. More to share. It's, it's, yeah. Whatever's in there is what you used to get in a small bag anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serving yeah. suggestion for people. Yeah. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> probably, they're weirdly probably right though, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam, have you got anything coming up that you... I know Scrum Reviews... Yeah, uh, so Scram, we've got uh, an episode at Bar San Juan uh, from Chorlton, a little tapas place, fantastic, beautiful food. And then we're out next week, aren't we, Steph? We we're are, going yeah. to a place in Disley, uh, and it's called Bohemian Bus Cafe. Yeah. And Never it is a to. double-decker bus right at the train station, and they do burgers, brunch, grilled cheese, they do loads of stuff. So that's what's coming up next. And Anything else on your own personal? Any creations over the weekend? That no, you I, it, it's all taking a little bit of a backseat because I've just, just been doing my barbecue area up. I'm, I'm so cl I just last night I got the Ethernet cable over my house. I was on the roof last night <laughs> over my house and it's in the barbecue area ready for my TV. So I'm having a TV out there. Wow. Yeah, I've had more my decking done. I've got some new seating. So nice. yeah, that's what that's. Well, what's you can get the in is that with the internet out there now? Yeah. We'll do, do the some, podcast. Do some big live streams there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.